From the station that made country music famous, 650 AM WSM, this is a Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Hi, it's Charlie Matos. Stephen Curtis Chapman is our guest in this episode of our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. This was recorded May the 1st of 2020. Stephen joined us on a Zoom chat from his home studio. We would chat about the new single, Together We'll Get Through This. And what a cast. Stephen Curtis Chapman featuring Brad Paisley, Tasha Cobbs Leonard, and Lauren Elena. Enjoy our Coffee Country and Cody podcast with Stephen Curtis Chapman. Coffee, Country, and Cody on WSM. And don't forget, Stephen Curtis Chapman on Coffee, Country, and Cody. Right here, right now, Aretha Franklin sang it. Who's Zooming Who? We're Zooming Stephen Curtis Chapman. Good morning. Good morning. I'm guessing you're you, in a home studio. My home studio, yes, just across the breezeway, connected to my house. So I am home. I am I am uh, officially um socially distanced and all of that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, this is, I've been spending, spent quite a bit of time here over the last few days, last few weeks, got my, uh, got my Clorox white, you know, Clorox white tear <laughs> handy, you know, for, for all your, all your, uh, <laughs> your, your, all your, and there you go. See all your antiseptic needs. <laughs> the preceding is a celebrity endorsement for Clorox. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Yours are the ultra clean. Where does a man get ultra clean? Not only just clean. Stephen, oh, we work in radio. We need ultra clean here. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. There you go, Charlie. Good call. <laughs> nice catch. Uh, nice catch. Uh, well, uh, we're going to feature a song coming up and, and talk about the people who are involved in it and what it's doing in our community. But I read somewhere it said Stephen Curtis Chapman, hopeful song, the hopeful song. And back at the beginning of the year, Joe Smith challenged us a girl named joe to come up with our word word for the year who was it was it somebody in country music who started this joe to come up with our word what was your word going to be for you the know year? i don't know but i saw one of the florida georgia line guys doing it and then it i started seeing it a lot more after that so i don't know if he was the originator and but joe's word was service mm-hmm. charlie's was patience this be really truly a stephen curtis chapman before charlie knew what patience was yes. because of homeschooling. Yes. Uh, now two months oh. in, now two months into it, I realize I have a lack thereof. Uh, <laughs> God has uh, not seen fit to give you the no, patience you I need. I would have picked a different word. Okay. <laughs> Mine was joy. So I'm just wondering: Is hope? Would hope be the word for wow. Stephen Curtis Chapman? Man, those are all those are all really good, uh, uh, great words, you guys. And and I think hope. Yes, I, that's a that is a great one. And I would. Uh, that, that'd probably be right at the top of my list if somebody said pick a word because uh, something that I am uh, desperately and we all are in need of and try to. And you you guys know the music that I've you know written and recorded and done all these years. That is, you know, really the probably the bottom line of what I'm hoping to do all the time is is bring hope, show hope. You know, we even you know, we've talked about that before. The organization my wife and I started to help families that are trying to adopt and help children that need families called Show Hope. So yeah, that's a that is a that's a great word uh, for for me. So I'll pick that one. Together we'll get through this. Is the song yeah. Brad Paisley, Lauren Elena, Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Yeah, uh, where did the, is, is this a new song? Where it is. Did, brand new. I mean, and yeah. as far as the song, have you had this song for a while? Just hadn't recorded yeah, no, it? No, no. You know, uh, we I always respond to whatever's going on in, in the world, in my own life, in my world, as we songwriters do. I just, I, I got to write a song about it. It's how I process life and work things through. And obviously, you know, this has been unlike anything we've ever experienced personally. And, you know, and we've talked about, you know, we've walked through some really, really dark, times our family and I particularly 12 years ago with the loss of our little girl Maria um but this globally you know and nationally and as in our world has been unlike anything we've ever experienced and so I, you know I probably could have told you something a song's going to come you know out of this probably a lot of them before it's all said and done but I was walking past the television and uh wasn't thinking about I need to write a song about this or any of that but I just heard language coming from this box, you know, in my house that 
most of the dialogue and the language of recent months and years even has been anything but unity or togetherness or common ground. It's kind of your side and my side and you're the enemy and, you know, fighting and fussing and Mm -hmm. taking sides. And suddenly I find myself hearing words like together, we will get through this. We need each other. We'll get through this, but we got to do this together. So let's talk about it. Let's figure this out together. And I don't know, for me, that word hope is something, it stirred something inside of me. It was, it was so inspiring because I thought I haven't heard that those kind of words coming from those people on my television screen. And it was almost like a little ray of light kind of came shooting through this dark cloud. And I thought, I'm going to kick the door open on that. If I can kick the door open a little further with the song, which I think, you know, we, we a lot of times are able to do with music, kick the door open a little further and a little, little, little more, maybe a lot more light in on this thing of togetherness that we need each other, that we are made created for relationship with each other. And maybe it would take a global pandemic. And this is what Brad Paisley and I got to talking about as we started talking about the song. And uh, he was just, I remember him saying, wouldn't, you know, maybe it took a global pandemic as, as again, devastating and and difficult and hard as it's been. Um, But, but something, it would take something like this for us to maybe come together in ways we haven't uh, and have needed to for, for a long time certainly hadn't fixed, you know, there's still plenty of all that going on, but maybe singing a song about it, maybe talking about it, encouraging it can, uh, can help add, throw a little, you know, fuel on the fire, fan the flame a little bit. So, so I wrote the song really just with that in mind, really almost thinking about just, you know, as the song says, I can see the panic in your eyes. You can see it in mine. We've been through crazy stuff, but nothing like this, but there's, there's one way we're going to get through this. And, you know, from experience, my family and I, we're still together by God's grace after walking through, you know, the devastating things we have. But it's been because we have done it together. Um, and so I wrote the song, thought, well, it would make sense to do this together with some other artists. And uh, I, I immediately thought of Brad. I don't know, just uh, he's he's a great one of my favorite guitar players in the world, great singer. We've met on a couple of occasions, shared a dressing room at a Glenn Campbell tribute uh, a couple of years ago that we got to do after Glenn passed. Both of us, are we bonded over our love for Glenn's picking and singing. (laughs) And uh, we said, one of these days, let's do something together. So reached out to him. Amazingly, he said, yes, I'm in. I'd love to do this. So uh, I'm blown away still. I can't believe it. I got Brad Paisley on a song I wrote. So, so how really do cool. Lauren and Tasha come into the yeah, mix so before Lauren, we play it yeah, Lauren. So Brad and I start talking about, you know, wouldn't it be great? I mean, I literally just said, who, who what do you think? Let's, let's see if we could do this together. The song was written, but I said, help me walk through this. What do you think? And we started thinking about, it'd be great to have a female vocal. And my manager knew the, the manager of, of Lauren Elena and her name came up and I, Never met Lauren, but I watched her through her American Idol journey. Mm -hmm. And I just, my family and I just kind of fell in love with her from a distance, just her spirit, her, her uh, voice for sure. But she was even then really vocal, just about her faith, growing up singing in church. And I thought we got that connection. Maybe she's heard my name before. Maybe she's heard a song of mine before. So I reached out. Sure enough, she was like, oh, I'd be thrilled. My family will freak out. I'm singing on a Stephen Gersh Chapman song. So that was a, that was a cool Cool thing. And, and then, then Tasha Cobbs. Yeah, because a lot of people yeah, may not needed, know who Tasha is. So give her, give us yeah, a backstory. Well, I needed a gospel choir on this song. I kept thinking if I could have a gospel choir, just bring in the power, you know, bring us, taking us to church on this song because it's, you need to go to church, you know, together. And I thought, well, I can't get a gospel choir with social distancing and all that. But what's the next best thing? And I've been with Tasha on several award shows and she is a, she's a powerhouse gospel singer, worship leader, gospel singer right now, probably one of the, one of the leading ladies in that world. Mm-hmm. And so I just reached out and said, Tasha, is there any chance you could bring the soul and the gospel power to this and take us to church? And she said, I would be honored. I would love to. So she joined us. We were all doing it in our separate corners of, you know, our studios. Nobody was ever in the same room together. So uh, pretty amazing how it all came together. Um, Hello, so- there's the setup. Together, ah. we'll get through this. Proceeds benefit the Opry Trust Fund, the Gospel Music Association's work to help people, assist people with COVID-19, the pandemic. Stephen Curtis Chapman and Friends. I 
can see the panic in your eyes, and I know you can see it in mine. We've been through some crazy things before, but nothing like this. You know I've always got a lot to say. Heard all over the world on 6.50 a.m. WSM and WSMonline.com. Our app download and you're watching Border to Border, Coast to Coast on Circle Television this morning. We're joined by Stephen Curtis Chapman. That is new. It's called Together We'll Get Through This. Brad Paisley, Lauren Elena, Tasha Cobbs, Leonard, the voices you heard. In addition to our friend Stephen Curtis Chapman, proceeds benefit the Opry Trust Fund and Gospel Music Association to assist those who've been gravely affected by the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. More after a break. More Coffee, Country, and Cody is on WSM. And our Zoom interview continues with Stephen Curtis Chapman from his home studio, a girl named Joe on entertainment. Charlie Mattos producing. I'm Bill Cody. Here's Stephen Curtis Chapman, circa 1999. Like Stephen Curtis Chapman says, when your feet leave the ledge, you're diving in. On 6.50 a.m. WSM. WSMonline.com app download worldwide as people listen and watch this morning all over the country on Circle Television. Diving in, and Ricky Skaggs would point out that I'm in the country music and bluegrass music halls of fame, and I'm also on a version of that song with Stephen Curtis Chapman. I'm well aware, Rick. Okay. Heard you do it? Yes. Seen you do it live at the Opry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Stephen Curtis is here. We heard the new single, Together We'll Get Through This, with Brad Paisley, Lauren Elena, Tasha Cobbs, Leonard before the break with proceeds benefiting the Opry Trust Fund and the Gospel Music Association's work to assist people during the pandemic. Joe? Stephen, it is awfully and wonderfully ironic that you're on the show this morning because in the wee hours this morning, I lost my grandmother oh, and so my sad. whole family. Yeah, it's uh, so sad, but so good because she's in a better place, which brings me to what I would love for you to talk about. My family passed around the book Appointments with Heaven a few mm-hmm. years ago, yeah. and we loved it and were so touched by it. And I would love to just have you share a little bit because you wrote the forward and play a very central role in that book. Yes. Yeah. We, um, many years ago, my, uh, my two boys, I have sons, Caleb and Will Franklin, who are uh, my little boys who are now 29 and 30 years old, um, have a band of their own colony house, which is an amazing, uh, Nashville, Tennessee based alternative band. Um, and uh, they, my, my sons, both of them uh, befriended uh, my son, Will Franklin. His best buddy was a guy named David Anderson, a little boy. They went through kindergarten all the way through school together. And about fourth grade, Caleb came home with a crush on a little girl named Julia Anderson. Um, fast forward, uh, well, how many ever years it would have been, 15 years. They got married, uh, his fourth grade sweetheart, Caleb and Julia Anderson. So we got to know uh, Dr. Reggie and Karen Anderson became some of our dearest friends and uh, walked through our journey of our loss of our little girl. Uh, Reggie's a doctor out in Dixon and Ashland city and, and that area of, of uh, Kingston Springs, sorry, Kingston Springs and, and Ashland city, Tennessee, and uh, just became some of our dearest friends. And, and when we lost our daughter, Maria, we went and actually stayed with him for a couple of weeks. We just needed a place to go, a safe place to go kind of hide out and hang out. And um, so they've just been dear friends for a long time. And um, Reggie, it was a few years ago, he started reading some, he just said, Hey, I want to read you guys something I wrote. And he sat down with Mary Beth and me and started reading some of his story that he had written. And we just said, that is amazing. You need to publish that. And so it was actually, we got to introduce him to the publisher who had helped Mary Beth with her book, choosing to see. And long story short, Reggie, finished this beautiful book of just his life as a country doctor and all the appointments with heaven that he's had walking through, just walking up to the veil, you know, between this life and the next and, and just his amazing experience of experiences of that starting from when he was a boy, um, I guess growing up in the area that, that you Joe are from, you were just yeah, telling exactly. me and having yeah. some connections to that part of the country and, and some tragedy that happened there. That was a beginning of his journey and then, yes, his their journey of, with us of our loss of my, our daughter, Maria. And um, it is a book that's touched many, many people. I'm so thankful. It's been an encouragement to you again. So sorry for, for your loss. But I will share with Reggie 
with my buddy uh, how much that meant has meant to you and your family for sure. And about uh, thirty to a minute left, Stephen yeah. Curtis. Uh, a lot of togetherness for you and Beth uh, during this mm. time, as is the case with a lot of husbands and wives. Uh, yes. What has been your food or drink weakness? <laughs> your binge. You your asked bed. me that. Well, my wife and I were foolish enough to, to decide we needed to start a diet during this time. Um, we've been talking about it for years. So we have been more, what have we not been eating or at least trying not to eat. Yeah. And as a result of doing this keto diet, we have been doing, you know, a lot of uh, meat and cheese. Our food weakness probably has been these little um, Parmesan cheese crisps, you know, oh, I know. I see them on the end dial. Yeah. Made, it, made into a, a, a chip because you're not supposed to eat chips. So we've been eating a lot of those. So blessed be the cheese that binds, I guess. I, don't know. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say that on air, but, um, but, but well, that's been our. <laughs> Vince Gill told me at the, at the Aubrey that uh, he and Amy weren't buying toilet paper. They were eating more cheese. He passed that. Oh, that- so. <laughs> Stephen Curtis Chapman. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Coffee Country and Cody. Okay, buddy. Thank you, guys. Always great to be with you. (laughs) And hug Mary Beth's neck, please. Would you? I sure will. All right. (laughs) Thanks for listening to our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Our program director at WSM Radio is J. Patrick Tittle. Our digital producer is Haley Hall. Marketing and promotions director is Amanda Cannon. And I'm Charlie Matos. If you like what you've heard, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And leave us a review on iTunes. It really does help new people find the show.